Well, I'm gonna do more of uh, my single player file, which I guess I'm doing as a beginner friendly kind of stream sort of thing. So I take it a bit more slower. I'm also trying to be better <laughs> at time management and not missing birthdays and all that stuff, so that's the goal of it. Wait, the one with the prettier characters? Nah, it's not modded or anything. It's just separate playthrough um, on a different farm. And I'm talking out things a bit more. So, because there are still people I know that haven't checked this out, and um, that you should check out this game if you haven't already. So maybe it might be something useful to someone somewhere, or <laughs> it's just playing through it, and I just say what I like doing. I did it quite a bit for the first week, so. All right, let me bring up the calendar, and... I'll see what the goals for this week are. So, in this final week of spring, there's the flower dance. At the flower dance, the only thing that they sell there um, that you might have interest in is they have a recipe for a cosmetic item, and I believe a rare crow. Um, but other than that, there's nothing really crop specific they sell. It's just an event that you go to to get friendship points. And if you have um, someone who's single at the four heart relation, you can um, ask them to be a dance partner. Otherwise, yeah, you just kind of sit on the sidelines and watch. Pierre's birthday is on Friday. Emily's birthday is on Saturday. But other than that, it's just winding up spring. So, outside of that, my goals are now going to be, now that I have the copper pickaxe and the copper axe, both of those. I'm going to start working on working towards getting the resources for the barn. So there'll be a lot of wood chopping and um, a lot of fishing. I think I have the stone for it. Maybe some mining, but we'll see. All right. That about covers what I'm going to do. Okay. Uh, so, oh, good. So we got the sashimi recipe. Excellent. So, you know, making friends with Linus early on, that's why I push towards it, because he will give you that recipe, and that recipe is useful. So I don't have a kitchen yet, but um, because I have been amassing things from the crab pots, I can we can make sashimi um, to sell and to make a bunch of money off it. Or you can keep it as like a food supply. Since I still have spring onions, I'm probably going to sell the first lot of it. Also remembering to do this. I've seen some other new stuff, but you know, this pot of gold thing was pretty amusing. Someone pointed out um, separately to the stream was like, it's probably got to do with the fact that St. Patrick's Day is on the 17th, and so I guess I found it on the 17th. Not sure of the truth to it, but I guess that might be the explanation. Keeping things under control in terms of size here. Alright. So let me put this away. So I have, what, 97 wood? How much stone do I have? 380. Alright, so let's look up the requirements for a barn. Just being able to look up stuff is seriously nice. Alright, so it's only 150 stone. And... 350 wood and 6,000 gold. So I'm pretty much there in the gold department. I just need to go chop a bunch of wood. So that's what I'm going to do today. Um, I'm going to just carry a couple of presents on me in case I run into certain villages. Um, 
That'll do. Alright. So, we'll start by... Oh, I forgot the crab pot bait. Crab pot bait. Seven crab pots. Um, I need to go pay a trip to Gunther as well, now that I look at this. That needs to go to Gunther. Do I have any geodes to open, or boxes? Let's have a look. Boxes, geodes. Alright, we'll do that quickly. Alright. But just being able to stop and think and look things up, I'm doing a lot better. <laughs> look, that's the thing, in, mul in multiplayer, just... It's nice to play with people, it is. But the stress you go through just trying to think on your feet, like, you have to do your thinking at the start of the day, pretty much. Because you don't get that chance throughout. Like, you stop to look the wiki up, um, any time during the day in multiplayer, you basically lose a third of your day. Like, it's not great. But here, yeah, right, I can stop at any point, and yeah, as long as I bring up the menu, time stops, so it's nice. Okay, there's nothing here today, but, so we don't make this a waste. Gonna make it so there was purpose to coming down here. It's fine. Those will stay there. So I can come by tomorrow and collect that. The backpack has one more upgrade, but I think because it costs so much money, you're better off just holding off on it for a little bit. It's not too bad to manage inventory at this point. I mean, I was happy that I got the backpack upgrade on the fourth day, so at least that worked out for me. But yeah, these I'll come back and collect. What I'm going to do is just first, just do that. All right, I'll head into town for a bit. How much wood did I get? I got 129. All right, so, and the requirement is 350. I'm just thinking if like there's any possibility I could get it all in one day, but I doubt it. I mean, I still need the money, so I guess there's no rush. Okay. Leah's not here. I haven't decided if it's going to be Haley or it's going to be Leah. This is kind of the first time I've played this where somehow I, I can pick. <laughs> it's just... I've been doing well with, with everything. Like, honestly. Oh, there she is. I've been romancing her with spring onions. Come here. Get some of this onion. Trees look nice. Nature is very rewarding. Okay, um... So before we... We got till 4pm. I'm just gonna pop in here. Is Caroline in there? Yes, she is. I have to keep gifting Caroline stuff because we want tea. Okay, just keep Caroline gifted. Um, I guess I got a leak, so I could pop in to see George. Let's just do that. There you go. Oh my, what a lovely day. Granny, I mean, you just give her flowers. I'm 
so I've got all the fish handled for this season as well, so it's like kind of less stressful. Okay, uh, process geodes. These could still come in handy. That is good for next season. So if I can get to the point where I don't need to buy seeds, that's that's great. What are the rewards? Oh, that. Yeah, I don't usually collect these. That's a piece of furniture if you want to collect that. Right now, it would just take up inventory space. Um, a good forager will clear out any weed stump stones from areas. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've been doing that. So, I'm just going to get some money by, uh, by fishing. Oh, nice. Okay, that's one of the unique crab pot things. As far as the crab pot thing goes, I think most of them contribute towards a recipe for cooking. So again, the rule of just holding on to one at least so you can craft the recipe. Wait, 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 wait. Someone that doesn't get much attention here. I guess that's the other thing, is Harvey getting... Yeah, I mean... He's up there. Things that don't usually happen when I play this game. Alright, so I'm going to put stuff back. I'm going to chop some more wood on the farm, then go fishing. So. I have 57 of these. If you're playing multiplayer, I wouldn't recommend getting the spring onions because they take forever to eat. But in single player, it's like, just keep right clicking, time won't progress. Viable food sources are a bit harder in multi. Alright, that'll do. We've got our energy back. I will start putting stuff aside for the fridge as well. So, I mean, I'm gonna... ...do this first. Probably going to put the barn here because I can't, I can't really think of farmland to put here, and here I can also put grass and stuff. I think it makes sense. I'm not a hundred percent accustomed to this map yet. Let's open this bridge up. 
I have a lot of wood to amass because I need to open up the bridge on the beach as well, but, you know, barn first. I'm leaving these trees because I'm, I'm probably going to do a setup. As long as I have about 350, it should be okay. Okay. Let me go put stuff back. Yep, cool. So I have 350 required. Um, so again, keeping all the crab pot stuff. I'm gonna put a chest in the house eventually to start putting things that are required in recipes. Um, in lack, in lieu of a fridge, in lack of a fridge, in lieu of a fridge. All right, let's eat up and go fish. I do have the fishing rod on me. Okay. I don't think I'm going to need the full energy bar back. But half will probably do. Alright, let's go. It's still been pretty miserable here, raining. It's like, I swear, the moment the time zone shifted, it, it just feels like it's a whole new season. Like, summer just disappeared completely. Even though it should be more like fall now, but... Alright. Be able to get some decent time in here. If you aren't fishing for whatever reason, the fact that you have a bigger farm will not completely make up for the money, but that's, like, what you'd be spending your time on. Um, you just have more things going in terms of farming. You get, you'd probably have preserve jars at this point, so you'd be making preserve jars to start pickling things. Um, and that'll be getting you a bit more income. I don't think like what else you would do if you weren't fishing. I mean, beehives would probably have happened sooner as well, so... <laughs> Pickled fish. <laughs> well, okay, there is a fish smoker, but it's not in this... If you pick the farm where there's, uh like a lot of fishing spots, then that one, it gives you a fish smoker, which is legit. You'd be mixing mining and fishing. That's if you're going the pure fishing route. Whereas in this is like, I'm playing mixed here. Trying to give everything a little bit of time.
I like it when the fish do that. <laughs> Just stay perfectly stationary. I'll be trying to look into the fish smoker where I can. It's just the passive that I've picked at the moment with the crab pots. It's something that I'm going to rework later. For now, it's just because it lets me set up, set up crab pots on the cheap and they are, they're pretty useful. You can go the passive that um, makes fish sell more, but I guess the reason I didn't was because I'm not dedicating all my time to fishing. If I was going, I guess the route I would pick, which is like go heavy, heavy fishing in the first season, I would have picked the one where fish sell more. I always get made fun of just how much I gravitate towards fishing, not just in Stardew, but like... Games where fishing is available. There's a strong chance I'll I'll be doing it. I mean, you can pickle a fish, can't you? Like pickled herring, that's a thing. I wouldn't say it's a thing that I would personally enjoy, but it exists, no? So tomorrow I will go... Oh wait, I can't. Not tomorrow. So Tuesdays, if you ever want stuff constructed, get this drilled in. Tuesdays you can't, because Robin is exercising. Marnie is also exercising. They all go to an exercise class, so tomorrow I can't get the gym. I mean, not the gym, the, uh, they're at the gym, I guess. And so... I can't get a barn built. Or buy animals, so that's not happening. Um, I guess I'll chop more wood. I'll do this, I'll just repeat what I did today. Seems like a good plan. Clear and sunny. I mean, it's just... Living off of the land... It's supposed to be like a tutorial channel, but it doesn't, at least I don't think so, offer as much as it should. For new newbies. Alright, but good news, I have the money now. Oh no, wait, I'm short. Alright, I'll have the money today. Okay, no, I do have the money. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> yeah, the flower dance. Alright, cool. So that's tomorrow. Good. I love how that just worked out for me. around where else I can potentially put this barn, but I think the spot I identified is fine. Just currently there's a tree with a tapper there that I may have to get rid of, but we'll see. I'm gonna clear some stuff around here. That I have access to this.
guess that's what that's what makes this island a little awkward. <laughs> this map. Just the river running. Guess we'll see. So I still have the bridge, um, to fix, so that's why I'm prioritizing wood cutting a bit more. All oh, right, you can't go that way, damn. Thought it connected. Farm is looking cleaner. So, these big rocks I'm ignoring because you need the next upgrade for the pickaxe to get them. But all they contain is more stone, so it's like, don't stress too much about them. Alright. Yeah, so I guess. And I want to see if this can be destroyed. No, I think it needs a stronger axe. But sometimes these background element sort of things can be destroyed. I'd be surprised if I couldn't fit it here, but I'll figure it out. I'll just clean up the rest of it. Worst comes to us, I just put it lower and then I'll just move it later. I'm gonna make some field snacks because they heal a bit better. I'm also gonna go collect those ones that I didn't get yesterday. I guess I can go to Clint's and Get that box crap cracked open. It's like probably beneficial. Let me get this as well. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven baits. All right. gonna get like trees that are close to me <laughs> may as well talk to her So I'm hoping I can amass the wood required. In the next season, I'm gonna set up um, a place where I can just grow trees. Because that's something that uh, becomes a problem later if you don't deal with it. I 
Another option you have for resource gathering. In the first year, you can purchase wood and stone from Robin. It's actually pretty cheap, so it doesn't cost too much. It costs money, but like if you get to the point where you're making a lot of money, um, just by doing fishing and whatnot, that is an avenue you can take. But then you don't get to level up your, uh, your skill. That's the flip side. But it is a path you can pick. Okay, so the, the stuff that I left down here will come in handy. Because I'll be able to make more... More food. Peeling off the field snacks. I still want to go fish, but if I can get the 300 wood now, I can go have that bridge done, and then I don't have to worry about it. I think I can do it. somewhere. Wait, I can't make one? What am I missing? Acorns. I guess I didn't get lucky. One of these should give me an acorn. Although I'll just eat my spring onions, it's fine. be able to get this tree chop. Okay, good. <laughs> it's pushing it a little. I didn't get the icon. Alright, that's fine. We consumed the spring onions. Slower, but it'll get me back up to at least half. No, eat. Cover me for the rest of the day. I didn't end up going to Clint's, but that's fine. I think getting this bridge done is probably a better priority. Alright, I'm gonna go back to the farm, put all my stuff away, and then go fish. Make sure I take 300. Then it doesn't eat up a slot in inventory.
<laughs> okay. It's decorative, it's fine. Alright. I guess I should put this away since I'm not going to Clint's. I'll be able to get, like, a couple solid minutes of it. Gonna quickly check this trash can. No, oh, that was close. I'm surprised he didn't see me. Nice, there's another one. So what, it's just, I think it's just this one. Yeah. I can almost get rid of the crab pots at the beach, though. I will keep it there just to get a couple lobsters and prawn, because you need them for recipes. I've been terrible at maintaining the fridge in the multiplayer file. Like, not even remotely close to having everything. But with this, I'm making sure it happens. I'm gonna fish off here. Since I opened it up. So these, I mean, you can use them to make totems later. And sometimes this is in the bundle. You can also sell them, but it's not really that much profit. Alright, barn tomorrow. And I will be working on upgrading that barn quickly. The rest of the days are going to be uh, making money to be able to purchase cows. And the, uh, the milk pail, because you don't get that for free. not going to make much money out of this. <laughs> if I was playing the way I usually play it, at this point I probably would have purchased the Iridium Rod instead of going for the barn. Just to make fishing even better. But, you know, since I'm not doing that, basic rod will have to do it for a while. So, I'm going to follow the rule again where it's just, no matter where you are in the game, you leave at midnight, that pretty much guarantees you get home with enough time to spare to sell. So I'll leave at about 11.30. So this will probably be the last cast. Multiplayer is a whole other story. That you got to be, like, more aware I usually leave at 11.30 just to make it safe. But it, it's going to happen. You're going to forget <laughs> and just pass out. So what I'm going to do tomorrow is start... Putting things in a chest indoors to start splitting up um, things that will go for recipes and things that won't. So I'll be going through my stuff. 
Um, I'm, I'm all good for now. If that can come with. Temporarily gonna put this here. But that'll most likely go in the indoors chest. Um, I mean, this is just natural things. Alright. So let me just start that. So what I need is 350 wood, 150 stones. I have plenty. Just take 50 wood, make a chest. In fact, I might even get started on it. I know this for a fact is used in cooking. Potato for sure. Um, I'm gonna put all the green beans in there. They are used for cooking. Snail is used for cooking. So just look these up one by one. I might, I may as well do it now. So there's a whole section dedicated to cooking. Um, you can kind of see what's required for each. So I'm going to go down the list. So, sunfish required. Um, bream is required. Okay, keep going. I'm going through the fish stuff at the moment. Carp. Alright, carp. I'll do that. Just sets so one. Okay, potato, I've got. Large mouth bass, check. I got the shrimp. Um I got eel. Oh, there's two eel. You actually need one. Ooh. I might have to go catch another one. I'll have to keep that in mind. There's a spicy eel and there's fried eel. I mean, sashimi for any fish, like, that's going to get made no matter what. Sarin. Apparently I don't have sardine. I'll go get a sardine. Probably because I, I gifted it in a quest. That makes sense. Flounder is used. Uh, crayfish is used. Periwinkle is used. I need a mussel, which I don't have at the moment. God snail, lobster is used. Crab is used. I think that's everything I can see at the moment. Surprisingly enough. At least in terms of fish. Give me a minute. I'm going to put it next to here. This is all stuff for cooking. I'll go back outside since I got like about a minute. Okay. Um, so seaweed and algae is used. So I'll get five of each. This is also used. Give me a sec. Just looking. Oh, it's only two, so I'll put one back. All right, cool. So that's done. Um, cave carrot is used. Let me just double check this. Strawberry, I believe, is used in cooking. Let's just see. This might seem boring, but... 
Believe me, you want to do it if you want to get everything. Oh, it's not. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so clam. Clam is used. I'll just take the stack of... I'll just take one. Alright, one clam. Halibut, surprisingly not used. Oyster, is oyster used? Let's see. Oyster, it is... It is not used. Okay. That is used. Um, dandelion, I believe, is used for salad. Horseradish is used for shrimp cocktail. Leek is used in a salad. Okay. Wait. Uh, spring onion. Not really used. Oh, blue jazz is. Alright, I need to put the blue jazz when I'm done with it. Okay. Cool. On top of it. Look at how organized I am. Flower dance tomorrow. Alright. Alright, I can't get my bond bond then. So I need to go get a sardine. Between the sources of rerun. Alright. The only spring crop I didn't get. Let me have a look. I didn't make kale. That's the only one I didn't make. But I can buy the seeds and then I can make it a greenhouse thing later. That's what I'll probably do. Because I wanted to not spend too much money in spring, so I went with just random mixed seed stuff. Or is that a year two crop? Hang on. No, it's year one. Okay. I'm thinking of rhubarb. Anyway. I'll buy some seeds so it's not too late, and then I can grow it later. But outside of that, I have gotten basically everything you would want from the season. Except coffee. Coffee just wasn't at a traveling merchant, but I'm sure it'll appear. Hey, Star, how's it going? Um, let me just see. So I have shipped a green bean. There's a thing to ship 15 of each crop, but that's not something that is realistic early on. 
Um, so I'm going to do a thing where I'm going to buy the seeds and kind of have them sitting there as a way to work towards that later. I'll sell the gold one. I'll keep the other one. I got chef coat. <laughs> You'll find a bunch of clothing. Um, I don't know. I'm just going to put it here for now. Going okay? How am I? Uh, I'm alright. This Monday is usually one of my longer days. Uh, so I just got off work and just decided to chill. This is annoying. I won't be able to get to my crab pots. I guess I can if I go there after the dance. Alright, so the dance is going to start. Um, it doesn't start right away, so you have like about a couple of minutes before you have to go there. If you don't go there within the allotted time, it will... It'll stop. So you won't be able to access it. Please don't fall to the... Yep, good. Alright, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna walk to the beach, then go to the dance. I hope I have enough time. Tempting fate here. <laughs> have you given Star to another try, Star? I was still thinking, nah. I mean, I was supposed to look like Chrono from Chrono Trigger, but just this look I have, very leprechaun-like. Okay, still don't have the muscle, but that's okay. Still playing once human? Ah, that's fair. Okay. So, the, the Spring Dance is just an event where you can socialize with everyone, pretty much. It's like, not a big deal if you miss it. The shop has a bunch of cosmetic things, which you can buy if you want. Um, the Rare Crow, yeah. I mean, I usually get it in the second year, because it's just expensive. And since I'm going for a barn as quick as I can, so you talk to people, and if your friendship is at least four, you can ask them to dance, and they'll say yes. I guess since Leah is the highest, I guess I'll go with Leah. I don't think I've ever had a case where, like, I have two I could potentially ask, so... I, I have been very organized this time around. Wait, what's he slurping? The green stuff is spicy. Okay. There you go. So we'll say yes. And if you're unsure who you have and haven't talked to, just... There's a cross here when you go Yeah. Still got a few people to talk to. But these events, they're good to come to, to get the friendship levels up. But they're kind of annoying in the sense that, like... So they'll say, oh, the flower dance runs from 9am till midday. And then you'll get home at 10 o'clock at night. It's kind of the whole day goes. So I like to just waste as much energy as I can before going there. So whether that be, like, cutting a bunch of trees or just mining just for a minute. It's a bit harder to do in multiplayer, but... 
I haven't talked to Lewis, but you talked to Lewis to start. Pierre? Where's Pierre? Oh, he's running the stall. But, so in the Egg Festival, there is a way to get behind to talk to him. No, that's not what I want. I want to see if there's like a dodgy way to talk to him. Nah, yeah, probably not. That's fine. It's like... <laughs> this might be weird, but... There are beneficial friendships, and there are friendships that's like, eh, yeah, if you want to learn about the character, you'll... You'll learn about the character, but, you know, like, in terms of beneficial friendships... Shane will give you blue chickens eventually. Willy, you should prioritize because it leads to the late game stuff. Um, all of them will send you recipes for cooking, but Linus has like one of the more useful ones. Um, Caroline will give you tea, so that's really useful. And then the others are kind of, well, yeah. I think Granny gives you, like, ceramic pots. So there's some friendships that are more useful than others to max out quick. Pierre's one of those ones that's just like, eh. If you want to learn about Pierre, sure. But it's not really beneficial. Alright, and then you do this this thing. Where everyone's dressed in a suit and you're still dressed in whatever you decided to turn up in. In my case, a gigantic hat <laughs> and red shoes. Okay. But otherwise, yeah, it's like short day. So you're back at ten o'clock. Um guess I'll go around and see what else I can do. I'll clear some more rubble, maybe do some stuff here. Just clean up around here. Uh, is there anything worth mining? I mean, this mini quarry is nice. I just hope that it gets better stuff later. Like right now, it's just, yeah, it's stone. Convenient. But compared to the other farms, I don't think it gives that much of an advantage. Like, you can get a day one furnace. Ooh. <laughs> okay. So... Keep recycling. Wait, that's onion. Uh, is there anything I can smelt? Smelting... Oh, yeah, I got this. Just always do this. Just always smelt. Okay. I think we're good. Okay, I did check Queen of Sauce. Alright, moving on. Not much money. 
It's okay. Okay, clearance sunny tomorrow. All right. I brought you a gift. All right, relationship. Progressing. Okay, um... Well, I'm gonna... Hang on, where am I gonna place it? I'll place it here, because when you get married, they usually hang up stuff there. I'll put it there. Okay. Well, good news, a lot of this is done. So I like to hang on to the strawberries. Alright, uh, now I've got to be careful. But I'm not growing any more crops. You don't have to do this, I'm just doing it so then I can see clearly where I'm watering. Okay, there we go. And I'm gonna keep all this extra stuff. Um, parsnips, thinking about it. So, I'm gonna... I'm gonna keep these. Parsnips, they'll get sold. It's like, it's fine. Alright. So, at this point, there's no crop that will grow. At least not with uh, without fertilizer or something. So, yeah, that's it. No more planting, it's just seeing through whatever's left. Okay. Um, but like I said, I will purchase some crops so then I kind of have them there. Ready to go when I get a greenhouse. Because I want to do like the whole thing where I've sold 15 of every crop. So I'm going to make sure I have that prepared in advance. Um, just looking around. Grab that. Grab that. Put this in here for now. I need to grab. Seven bait. Uh, I need to grab 350 wood and 150 stone. As I look that up, it's not because I have it by memory. Do it. Okay. Oh, cool. Fine tar's done. The thing with pine tar, just, it's used for fertilizer or something. I forgot. What, it doesn't really have like a a big use case for it, but you do need one to sell it. I'll have a look at its uses, but honestly, it's one of those ones that you're not really going to use that often. I'm just going to go down here and chop. Okay, so there is stuff here today. I've been good with these spring onions. I've gotten them every day. <laughs> I got another gift for Leah. But I think I've given her two already this week, so that's fine.
Okay, beach first. Still no muscle. I'm just gonna, yeah, have a look. Hey, oh, I can't pick up stuff. Um, I guess get rid of the trash. It's the one downside to like things that are mixed quality. I missed one. There we go. Alright, I'll pop in... to get the geod cracked and that. And then I'll go get my barn constructed. That's useful. This will teleport me to the ocean. Uh, chatter. I'll get rid of the paper. It's fine. Hold on. Careful. Dwarf helmet. And iron. Alright, not bad. Gives plus one to fishing. When you eat that food. Let's see if it's actually a good reward. No. <laughs> Decoration, probably, I'm not going to use it. And I'm kind of low on inventory space, so I'd rather just keep it open. May as well. Oh, he doesn't like that? Well... Like, doesn't like it, or hates it. Let's see. Dislikes. Alright, it's not hated. But it'll pop up in there. Okay, Pierre's birthday tomorrow. I'll see what he likes. Odds are I'm probably just gonna give him a gem or something. The next thing I gotta work on is the uh the bundle for all that lumber stuff. I think I have the stone for it, I just don't have the wood, because uh it's about to all go for this. Construct farm buildings and we want where is it? Barn. Oh, it fits that perfectly. Okay, that's where I wanted it. So it'll take a few days. Um, while I'm here... I can go over some of the stuff Robin has. This is something new in 1.6. It just means a chest that's bigger. <laughs> it's good. But it's expensive. I'm probably not going to go for that later. But the thing that you probably want sooner rather than later is this. Um, it's a workbench. So as it says, any chests that are adjacent to it. It'll have access to those materials. So all you do is you right click this. And then it'll bring up your crafting. And conveniently you don't have to have the items in your inventory. So you can just access the items from the chest. Don't worry about a telephone. Calendar, yeah. I'm probably going to get one this time around. No difference between a small TV and a big TV. It's just aesthetic. And the rest is kind of cosmetic stuff and recipes to craft more cosmetic things. Um, if you do want the achievements, you're going to want all those recipes. Because you do have to craft one of every item in the game.
I'll give Linus uh, one of these. Not the gold, gold one, because I'm saving it for Leah. Um, do I have inventory space? Not really. All right, I'll go back home and come back out. Oh, all right. So when you see a tree like this, this is the new item, Moss Scythe. I'll come back for it. <laughs> I don't have space. But we need Moss. Before this patch, there wasn't really much incentive to carry the scythe, but now there is, so I carry it. But today I'm not buying the seeds like I said I would. While I'm at it, let me see the uses for pine tar. Yeah, so, I mean, it makes a loom, so you can turn wool into cloth, which is used later. But once you have them set up, that's it. It's like, you don't really need too many looms. And then it's speed grow and rain totem, which, they're items that, I guess, their usefulness kind of stops at a certain point, and then fine tar doesn't really do a whole lot else. It doesn't even sell that well, it's like 100 gold a pop. So, if you're tapping trees, I mean, probably two pine trees is enough. And then you'd probably convert that, ultimately, to just keep giving you the other two. Because those are way more useful. But initially, I just, I tap one of each tree, so then I have all three resources coming in. From the trees. Well, the basic ones. There's other ones you can get later. Um, again, I'm keeping leak as presents. I'm going to put this totem away because I don't want to use it yet. Uh, okay. Just thinking what I'm going to do. I guess if I want seeds, I need another 99 wood. Okay. I'm gonna go fishing. Because I only have a couple more days before I can access the spring seeds. So I'm just gonna buy five of every seed and keep them banked. So then when the greenhouse opens, I'll grow them. And there's an item you can get that will generate seeds from the crops that you've uh, planted. So then I'll be able to get the 15 of every crop for spring that way. You can put it off until the second year, but I'm going to try my best to, like, get as much of this done as possible. Plus, it also gives me something to grow in the greenhouse once I have it, so... The greenhouse comes from uh, completing one of the community center bundles. Well, lots of bundles. So it's one of the, uh, the goals early on. Um, yeah, yeah. So, once I get all these completed... Ooh, th actually, this... The one that's kind of annoying is this one. I may have to buy two of these if I don't find the, uh... The seed required for that one. But yeah, the greenhouse is just a place where you can plant things, and it doesn't matter what season it's in, you can just plant it in there. And also, it's immune from being attacked by crows, so that's nice. But ultimately, most people set up just the most expensive crops in there. Which, mm, yeah, maybe. <laughs> that's probably where I'm going to end up. I need to be on the lookout for sardine, because I need one for cooking. Mm Mm-hmm. 
There we go. I'll double check if it's just one, but yeah, pretty sure it's just one. I'll go put it in the food chest. Hopefully it rains in the next couple of days. I would like to get one more catfish. Okay. It's too late to go process those. There's a lot of keeping of items for quests in this game. <laughs> I think I've gotten all of the quests done so far. It's kind of surprising. Because usually it's weird, but they'll give... A job on the board that's something like, hey, get me a cauliflower, and then it's like day two of the season. The ones that you can't reasonably fulfill. I haven't gotten any of those, which is nice. Yeah, um, I need it to rain one more time so then I can catch an eel. There is another way I can duplicate the eel, but I'd rather not do it. Hold on, let me check. Yeah, I didn't go donate it, but... Oops, not far enough. I've yet to get extremely lucky with these treasure chests, but one can hope. Okay. Uh, I mean, alright. This is one of the new items. Tells you what fish is on the line before it's caught. Which, yeah, it's like if you only want to catch expensive fish, fine, but... Like, I'm kind of the, of the mind that, like, you just want to catch whatever fish appears anyway. It's, like, very rare circumstances you wouldn't want to do that. So, you can sell that, and that's what I'm going to do, because it is worth some money. And I don't think it's useful now, because I'm not going after a specific fish. Like, I can't see myself in a situation anytime soon where that's going to be something that's going to be useful. It's just, I want the fish either way, because it's money. It doesn't waste time, because time stops. In multiplayer, that might be a bigger deal. 
But in single player, time stops. There's no reason not to catch a fish that's on the line. Unless you're going to run out of bait or something, but I don't have bait right now. I guess that's the other thing. <laughs> that's a bigger point is my current fishing rod can't even equip that. Because that's intended for the rod that you're allowed to attach lures to, which that's not anytime soon. You can tell the fish by the field don't need modern technology. That is also true. Um, the movement pattern does give you a good hint as to what fish it is. The ones that are more expensive tend to move very erratically. It's like... Ugh. I can see it being useful in multiplayer. That I'll give it, because time doesn't pause. And you can be like, nah, that's an annoying fish to catch, or that's not the one I'm after. And just let it go. So that I can see it being useful. But here, yeah, I don't know. And I've already... I'm already at the point where I just don't, <laughs> don't have the resources for it. Like, I don't even have a rod that can equip it. So it's just... By the time I get to use it, uh, uh, yeah. Sell it. TLDR, sell it. If you get it at this point in the game. I'm still talking to him. I want that friendship to grow so we can get our blue chickens later. Okay, so let me just look something up real quick. I'm going back to the cooking page. You need two sardines. Haha, -ha. I'm glad I looked it up. Not just one. Some of them require two. So, two sardines in. Um, yeah, that's all good. The others can go. Um, the other thing is, so what, let's see, anchovy, let me just look at the fish list. I might create a cooking kit and just get rid of things now. Herring sells for 70. Oh no, but I don't have that passive. Okay. Every fisher I have, what about halibut? Halibut is the only fish that is profitable at the moment if I don't do that. Okay. So I'm going to do something real quick whilst I have a bunch of fish on me. Is it because I didn't go with the passive that makes fish sell a bit more? Cooking the fish is more profitable. I mean, in general, some of the fish cooking it is more profitable. So let me just... Okay, what do I need for a cookout kit? I need... 15 wood, 10 fire, but 3 coal. And the recall. Okay, and I'm going to make sashimi out of all these fish. Done. Um, I'm also going to take my crab pot stuff. I hang on to one carp just in case it comes up. Um, these are just, I'm going to keep just in case I need quest fish. So that's the only reason they're there. It's not that I, I want to hang on to them. 
Okay. <laughs> 53. That's a bundle fish. Um, keeping that, keeping that, keeping that. Snail. Um, so snail for Vincent is good, but I can keep I can keep getting snails, so it's no big deal. And then we just sell 53, 60. 60 sashimi. <laughs> All of a sudden. Alright, now we go to bed. Okay, um... So... These two paths... The way they end up, so... Forrester, you get more wood, pretty self-explanatory, and then eventually you can pick between a passive of tapper materials selling for more, or you get hardwood from just normal trees randomly. It's a good passive. Gatherer um, doubles the harvest of forage items, which is can be useful, um, but later on you can get foraging, so then they give always give the best quality, which... I used to always go for this one, but lately I've been doing this one. And this one seems to be better because it just means... It fuels progression, because you need wood. So I'm picking that one. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well. There you go. That's how much that made. Sunny day tomorrow. That's unfortunate. Uh, but yeah, I'll be making cookout kits every now and then once I have amassed enough to warrant spending the resources. Eventually, you get the kitchen. I feel like cooking should be easier early game. I feel those cookout kits are they're good. But they, they cost a bit much for what they are. I don't know. I feel like it should just be one coal requirement instead of three. And then it would be something that people would do constantly. Anyway, barn is being worked on. Alright. Traveling merchant is in town. I think I missed a birthday yesterday. I did, didn't I? No, I haven't. It's Pierre's birthday today. Okay, we're fine. Alright, Pierre. I'm trying my best not to miss a birthday for once. What is Pierre like? Okay, I mean, a daffodil or a dandelion. Um, I'm giving him a dandelion, because daffodil's, like, in higher demand. Dandelion's not in high demand, though. So good to be able to use it. Um, do I have a gold quality one? I have a silver quality one, or I can go gold daffodil. Uh, Alright, I'll go give him the gold daffodil. Fine. My cave. Uh, seven bait. That's already set. Alright. I'm probably going to hang on to the chowder because that's probably someone's favorite. And yeah, just having it as a good birthday gift. Another thing I have been on top of. Caring for the pet. Actually, 
so hold on, go with the paper. Okay. Heading to the traveling merchant. Well then, um, <laughs> okay, I'm buying that because that is a requirement for this and I got it, so now I just need battery. Oh, okay, progress is going to be huge. I might get minecarts extremely early at this rate. That's probably the biggest deal that could have happened. A piece of iridium at like not even the end of the first season that's crazy just the luck is making me look really organized I'm gonna go back to the farm and collect stuff. Stream of luck? A little bit. <laughs> right, we'll acknowledge this time it is. I'm just improving friendship with Leah. To be honest, I always forget to check the trader. Yeah, I'm kinda bad at it. I'd say two thirds of the time I'll remember. But I think I'm going for a pretty good season here. I've done most of the things you'd want to do. Okay. Uh, that doesn't give me that. Okay, so I have topaz, I have that. Um, it probably isn't going to rain before the end of the first season, which is a little sad, but that's okay. Um, refined quartz, there's the five I needed perfectly. That needs to go to the bundle. What else? I guess I may as well take the 99 stone. Hold on. Oh, cauliflower. Man. I blanked out on that. Cauliflower. Yeah, what else? Ten hardwood, ninety nine stone, and then Okay, I can do that. I can do this. Just have this ready. Okay. And 10 hardwood. I think that's everything. Why is the single crayfish here. Okay. Uh, that should do it. Put the watering can back. Alright, heading out. Um, actually, magma geodes as well. I guess when you're doing Jojo, you just need money, so you're not going to go there. But they can, like, 
The traveling merchant can sell cheap fruit trees and stuff like that. Actually, I should pop into PS first. Let's get that present thing out of the way. Gold bar. So this is what I mean. This is a quest where it's like, who's going to have a gold bar at this point? And the answer is me. I have a gold bar. <laughs> I actually do. Did I give... I did. Okay. I'm on top of the quest as well. This is pretty insane progress. Can you just buy it all from Clint? Uh, you can. Oh, I need one. Ah, but like that, I got plenty of those. You can. But it's not that cost effective. Wait, he wants a gold ore? Oh no, yeah, you can buy ores, not bars, but you can make bars out of ores, so it's like, indirectly you can get them from Clint. Speed growth, that's gonna come in handy. That's for next season. Although I might save it for fall, actually. Oh, it's not here. Okay, just one more lot of wood, which I could probably get today. I'm gonna go to the beach first. After I get... Oh, Elliot's gonna be in the... Yeah, saloon, so I don't have to worry. Elliot's gonna be in the saloon. Yeah, maybe I can amass that wood today. I mean, I don't have anything that uses the gold bar recipe yet. So, it's fine. Nothing here today. Yeah, let me get the 99 wood and just get that bundle done. So, I have my money that I'm holding on to because I'm going to buy animals and seeds tomorrow. I guess even just two of this, as long as I have some seeds to put in the greenhouse and have a way to replicate them, that's all I need and I can do the thing later. Oh, it's 99. I got my 99. I guess since I used the energy. Alright. 
go back to the farm, get my gold bar, give it to Elliot, and then I'll do some fishing. It's also good because it can do some socializing while I'm there. Unfortunately, I didn't get one more rain day, but oh well. I didn't go to the museum and donate stuff either, but that's alright, we can do that tomorrow. We have three gold bars. I thought I only had one, I had three, man. That is surprising. Alright. Like, I'm not even up to gold in the mines. Okay, everyone's arriving. Shane is that yellow. I accidentally auto stack my wood back, didn't I? Yeah, well. I mean, I have the, the wood required. It's just another trip. I can forget about it for now. Is he? he should be turning up soon. He's one of the more annoying villagers to get to know. I know he's definitely at the saloon. Let's just see that we're not wasting time. L yeah. Spring. Doesn't look like this. Oh, hold on. Oh, crap. His behavior's been changed. He's not going to be at the saloon. If the player has five or more hearts with Leah, he leaves Pierre's and goes home for the night. So he hangs out with Leah if you have a not high enough relationship with her. So he's at home. He's locked up in his room. Alright, I can give him it tomorrow. I'm glad I looked that up. Oh, well. I'll just do some fishing. That was surprising. Sulking because Leah likes me. I mean, Clint does the same with Emily. I guess I'll have to see what his routine is tomorrow so I can run into him. Now that I'm doing the cookout thing, 
pretty much uh, halibut's the only fish I'm gonna sell. The others I'm gonna hang on to them. And make another cookout kit. There's like delayed earnings to some degree. Does Leah do the same? If you are friends with Elliot? I have no idea. Maybe. Can look it up. I would probably say no. That would be my guess. Girls aren't so petty. Well, there you go. I'm probably gonna make a, a sashimi chest. <laughs> so I'm not like crossing concerns. out Elliot first. Maybe. Elliot's just one of those ones that's hard to be friends with. At least I, maybe because I haven't had the need to chase him out, but like, I find that he's always somewhere that's difficult to get to. I guess it's just places I don't frequent. I'll find out a schedule tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna go here, this way, to see if I can get Shane's cutscene. Yeah, here we go. Because we need to progress this a little bit. I played out. Oh, right. Uh-oh. You have a cold one. This is the, the one thing about this cutscene is that, um... So you do drink, and you become a little slow after this cutscene, which probably isn't the best if you're trying to get home on time. Um, but yeah. I don't know. I've seen people play through this game and Shane becomes like a I can fix him sort of deal. Okay. You have a higher friendship with Pam than most because she's at the bus stop. <laughs> That's funny. It was just one drink. One drink. One drink. <laughs> Okay, I'll make it home on time. I can't make a sashimi chest yet. What I'll do, I'll throw the sashimi fish here for now. So that I don't accidentally cross concerns. Okay, um... Bring this with me. 
I have what I need. Uh, watering can on hand. And second last day of the season. I want one more day of rain, but I don't think it's going to happen. I may just have to give up one of the eels that I got, which, that's fine. Yeah, no small sun. Alright, fine. That'll go to bundle. Blueberry tart. Alright. So, I mean, I'm gonna harvest the blue jazz. So, one of them goes for cooking, the other one's gonna be a present. Because I know someone has a blue jazz as their favorite. And yeah, I'm hanging on to certain crops now. Probably the one named after the flower. Doesn't she like Fairy Rose, though? And Jazz, okay. Um, George, bring this with me. Just additional two presents. All right, let's go. Oh, there we go, pine tar. I mean, not pine tar. Oak resin. Missed opportunity, she only likes fairy rose, or loves fairy rose, yeah. Well. But that would be one of those annoying things is like an assumption thing, right? Nobody loves blue jazz, really? That seemed strange. I guess there are items that no one would love. Oh yeah, look up Elliot. Um, what is Elliot doing uh, on a Saturday? Regular schedule. Okay, so he's at midday he stands on the beach south of his house. Alright, so midday he's going to be at the beach. Got it. Just go in for the daily talk. It's locked. Why is it locked? I guess because it's before nine. I thought friendships overruled that. Nothing here. Oh hey, yeah, cat. The pot of gold was like here, like on that spot there, and there was a rainbow. And then I got this hat. Okay. Guess can't see her today. If I get an extra doll that I have to donate to the museum, keep it. Extra doll? 
Which doll? Any doll? Because there's three of them there. The ancient doll. Okay. There we go. I should have put the speed grow away. I don't know why I didn't put the speed grow away. That's interesting. It's gonna be the summer seed already. Still got time before Elliot gets up. Go visit George. Oh, it's George's cutscene. Okay, George, I want you to take a deep breath with me, blah, blah, blah. Turn around. Be honest with you, something, something. Reduce your sodium intake. I want the medical of and I want the medical opinion of someone that's unqualified that will agree with me. I'd like to get a second opinion from this young man who has zero qualifications and runs a farm. Let's listen to the doctor, man. Fine, I'll do what you say. Yeah, actually being able to watch cutscenes in single player. Thanks for your help, appreciate it. Some of them do have friendship outcomes, so it's like you miss out on them. There you go. Have I gifted Caroline? I have. Okay. I'm surprised he didn't see me. I have to go back. Just making sure. Okay, good. <laughs> I mean, it gave me 750 gold. It's not nothing. They pay whatever it is and then three times. That's decent. Guess it was worth doing then. And I got I got it back. I got it back right away. Oh, okay. I don't have the quality crops bundle, but that would have been very useful for that. Okay. I hope I never find a prismatic shard on the save. I mean, what do you think the odds of that are? I, I've stopped counting on, on the file we're playing. <laughs> That's, but it's in the dozens. Okay, so... One, two, three, four, five. This is just so I have five of every crop. Um... I'm gonna, uh... No, but these are good for Leah. I can always come back, so that's fine. Um... So, as long as I just have five of each, I'll be okay. I'll be back. I 
I got my first prismatic in the first spring. Did I? Yeah, it must have been. But, okay, but... How many books did you get? Compared to me. Like, insane amounts of books that you found. I wanted to get dandelion and leek for salad. I think uh, I'll go check if I have. There, I'm separating crab pot stuff now, so hold on. I'll go here. Um, farming stuff goes here. Uh, maybe I'll change the line. Hang on. In here, because there's more room. Not that. Actually, may as well smelt that. Um, I need one of these. These can go in here. Yeah, dandelion and leek. Look at how organized I am. <laughs> I've, I'm not kidding. Like, this file, I've been giving it my best. Okay. Uh, to purchase the seeds, donate this, donate that. Alright. Alright. May as well. I know I'm doing a lot of back and forth here, but it's fine. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, I guess. One, two, three, four, five. That's all the crops. The others don't need to worry about it. I'll get this. As well while I'm at it. Because I want to make um, grass for the animals. That I'm going to have. I just need to cut them off. Initially. No, not here. Okay, hang on. Oh, yeah. That's getting there, too. Okay, construction bundle is done. Charcoal kiln. Then we got the bulletin board. No. Okay. Bank. Yeah, those aren't going to happen anytime soon. Children's bundle. Cookie. Okay. Oh, well, I have both these things. Um, I have that fish. Okay. Forages bun- That's fine, I kept all of them. Ooh, that's gonna be the rough one. So, I guess I didn't have a need for red cabbage. But I didn't want to risk not buying it. I can make seeds out of it, so it's not like a total waste. It's an expensive initial mount. But I mean, minecarts, they're looking good. I feel like I'm going to have them very early.
Where are they going? Sato. Have a flower. Have a flower. Alright, I'm going fishing. slowly move away from the fishing, but for now, <laughs> it's the way I'm going to make money. So if there was no fishing going on, it'd be a case of like the farm would be big enough that you're offsetting the fact that you're not fishing by having farming stuff to do. I feel like you can't avoid fishing. That's the thing. It's ultimately you do have to do it to some degree. Okay. I should probably see how much I've made as well cuz I'm going to compare it So the only the only thing I don't have from that list, cat, you need two parsnips. Okay, then I'm missing one parsnip and two kale, but I've bought the seeds. So then I'm going to I'm going to grow stuff in the greenhouse, and then I can address it then. So I at least I have a game plan if I've missed stuff, because sp spring one is hard, given lack of money and you want to progress but at least I have a contingency so I've bought five of every seed so I can amass that I can grow that stuff in the greenhouse and then I'll be good but in general I'm missing the kale the parsnip and one potato maybe yeah horseradish is used so there you go I've, I've done well, honestly. Like, this is probably the best I've done. Um, in terms of progression, I'd say this is probably the best I've done. I guess since I made it to be this thing where it's like, hmm, I'm going to talk about how to play the game. Maybe I should play the game properly. <laughs> I'm not playing at the greatest. You can find people that are way better. But in terms of me... And at least getting introductory knowledge, this is fine. You need the hash brown. Two recipes need a hash brown. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Well, again, it's, it's, it's fine. I have a way to grow the potatoes. I got five seeds, so then it's like. I'll grow an initial crop, and then I'll put that crop in the cedars, and then get, like, a double crop. So, eventually I'll work my way up to 15. I have made 22,000 at the end of one season. That's, that's not bad, right? That's like, I think that's at least double what I made in the, the multiplayer one. I was not making a lot of money initially. 22,000, that's not bad. It's not amazing, but... 
the way I've applied everything, it's fine. making sure it doesn't drop. The only fish I'm missing is Legend from the season. I got every other fish as well. I mean, Crab Pot doesn't count, but I am doing what I can with the Crab Pot. One more, one more. <laughs> when I said one more, I meant one more fish. I'm missing one eel from the fish, but I have one eel. So, I mean, worst comes to worst, I can throw it in a pond. But also, I could just wait till the second year. Eels are in fall as well. Ah, oh, well then, that's fine. I can do it in fall. Okay, so I am going to do the thing again. stuff ready. Okay, uh, 15 wood. And fiber. And three coal. Sell the halibut first. Get all of them out. Do I have the two sardines? Yes. this here for now. Well, this is out of the way. Um, get the watering can. Put this... Where am I going to put this? I guess put this. Alright. Um, oh, before I go to bed. Make sure something is happening overnight. Recycling. Yeah, look. Two sardine. So I'm missing a potato. I'm missing an eel. I'm missing another parsnip. But other than that... Okay, I got my preserves drop. Last day of the season. Be 
Chicken sauce. Omelette. Okay, well, yeah, that's all. Bill, there's never gonna be a day where the season starts and it's not sunny. Alright, well, that's it. We're done here. 500 gold, thank you. That's gonna be useful because I'm buying animals today. I need three dolls. Oh, man. Okay. Hey, I didn't get all my crab pot- Oh, there were two more crab pot things done. Oh well. I mean, it's fine. Um... Alright, well... Bait. I need bait. I need bait. Let me have a look at what I'm doing. That's gonna happen on some summer. I guess I should go to the mines because I need to make sure I can get batteries. Um, okay, mines today. Cute black cat. <laughs> yeah, chat picked them out. But speaking of the cat, I need to water the cat's bowl. I mean, I'll touch on it again in case it's not obvious, but these crops will be gone tomorrow. They just become dried out and useless, so that's why I'm not watering them today. Okay, I shall return. It is traveling merchant day, and, um... I need to purchase animals, but first, traveling merchant. We'll see what's there. Hopefully, I can purchase animals. Sometimes Marnie's schedule is a bit whack. That's interesting. So, yeah. That's an extremely early sturgeon. This is what I think this one's worth doing. So this fish produces row, which can it's a bundle fish. I don't, that's not what I want it for. But this doesn't appear until fall. But if I get it, it's cheap as well. If I get it, I can put it in a pond, and then I can start. Um, I can start earning money off that pond. I could buy the pond instead of animals. Like, I can start the pond construction. That would be, like, a pretty spicy play, though. I could pivot and just go, no, get the pond right now, and then just use whatever money comes in to get the animals, like, a few days later. I feel like that's probably the way to go. All right, we're gonna pivot. I would have bought the animals, but this changed things. Yeah, it produces caviar, it's the best row. And the sooner I get that started, the better it's going to be in the long run. So I'm going to go to Robin's and I'm gonna purchase the fish pond. It'll also provide a watering source for the crops area. So it's like win-win. Um, it'll also give me time to set up for the animals, so... Okay. That's fine. Yeah, this is... Okay, so... I'm gonna make some grass starters. So this'll buy me time... 
to get feed for the animals. You know, I want this area covered. So by the time the animals are out, hopefully it'll grow. I don't know. We'll see. I kind of wish it was better. Um, yeah. I'll make a couple more. Three more. Don't want all my fiber gone. Alright, and then hopefully that'll spread out quick enough. Yeah, I mean, I think the timing on this couldn't have been better. Ooh, the only thing about this that I, I don't know if I have the stone for it. How much stone is required for the fish pond? Let me see. That might be where... Let's see. That might be where I didn't think this through completely. I'm just checking the wiki real quick. It's 200 stone, let's go. I got enough. Yeah. Okay, this, this'll work out, so I guess just put... Wait. Okay. I need to make a silo too, so... Okay, I got 200, 5, 5, done. I was going to go to the mines anyway, but this just solidifies that fact. Oh yeah, the, the moss. I didn't collect the moss. Okay. Um... I mean, I want it right next to the crops area, but I don't want to, like, take out too much of the crops area. I can't put... I mean, that wouldn't be too bad. I reckon just put it here. I can move it later. It's close, so... Alright. I'm going to go back to the farm quickly and just put stuff away. I'm also going to put this fish somewhere where I'm not going to accidentally do something to it. I am going to put it with my mining stuff. I don't plan I'm gonna be mining with the fish. Okay. Um, oops. I need to also go put crab pot stuff. Oh, it's also Sunday. Um, I mean, if I, if I run into people, I could swing past George's. Um, Brandy should get a flower. That should, well, carry some these. Alright. I think we're good. The bait? I don't know the bait. Ugh, it all just stuck back in. A new life for Harvey is pickled spring onion. Oh. That I did not know. Well, not that I'll have that yet. Uh, 
Granny, come here. Anything pickled. Oh. Dull pickled spring onions. Wow, that is good timing. I'm going to the mines as well. George was in there. It's Sunday. I'm trying to be careful not to accidentally gift it to the wrong person. Okay. Ten slimes need to go down. I must have missed one of the pots back on the farm. I'll have to keep that in mind. Okay. To the mines. Yeah, sure. Damn, I mean... Again, just the way things have panned out on this file. The only thing is, I think, where I'm at in the mines, it doesn't have slimes. So I might do the elevator trick just to quickly get that done. And then I have to talk to... Well, I guess we'll see. I guess I can cover that now. But whenever you have a bounty for things, there's a way you can do it easily. Alright, so we'll find a floor early on. I think 15 is probably the one. 15, that's a good one. So all you do is just walk in. You don't see what you're looking for. Go back. Go back to 15. Sorry, 15. The floor resets every time, but you just keep doing this until you see the enemy that you want to fight. We're about 25. I can quickly scan through them. Okay, there we go. Five, five is a good floor. Alright, I'll redo floor five. as well. So, left, go to five. Again, yeah, but floor five is the one to do. In multiplayer, this is harder to do because it seems to be erratic with the resets. Um, it's probably better to just leave and come back. So, this is also good. Remember the donate four prismatic shards for Mystic G? Oh, yeah. It's now collect. Oh. I mean, given my luck. I don't think I've gotten four. Yet. I feel like I've found four in the time span of a few days. That is annoying, but... It's not impossible, it's just really difficult. Yeah, it was easy. 
But I guess I don't want that content to be easy. Alright, so... Talk to Lewis. Um... I guess I'll go talk to Lewis. Because the problem... The problem is I'll probably not get to do it next time. Because... Start of the season. And... It's setting up the crops and all that, which... Oh, that's something I've kind of overlooked. I might go to... I might do some fishing instead, because I don't have money. Yep, that's good realization. Mind you, I have a lot of mixed seeds, so maybe it's not... ...the end, end of the world. But realizing this. Oh, you gave me 600 gold. Nice. Alright, that's good. Um, still gonna opt. No, you know what? No. No. Because I have melons. I have mixed seeds. I think we're good. I don't want that big of a, a farm. No, no, we're fine. I just realized I had the nine melon seeds, and then I, ha I have a bunch of mixed seeds. It should be okay. I need to get combat to the point where I can get batteries, so that's kind of a priority. But also progress, so let's just... I need a better weapon. following me. I don't know if I'll be able to even make it across five. Alright, just ignore them. <laughs> They're not that quick. I feel like maybe I should fight. There are a lot of them and I want combat to go up. Also, the ladder might appear. I never know. Slime hutches are smaller? Oh, wow. That is significant. It's actually a lot smaller. I'm gonna get the coal at least. So remember what I said about midnight? Well... And leave. Twelve thirty is like the latest you can push. Anyway, since I'm here, there you go, dwarf. I'm curious if that actually increases the friendship or not. I mean, he does seem to accept it, and he does seem to like it. But I got the feeling the friendship might be decaying quick. 
It's alright. It's not like those things are rare or in short supply. Like, you're gonna get so many of them. Okay, I'm going to sell this stuff, just so I get a little bit of extra money overnight. Not a lot, but some extra money. There was also a crab pot I missed, but oh, I might be like being ballsier. Didn't I miss a crab pot? It doesn't seem so. Alright, I got 20 seconds to get into bed. I'll be fine. It's like calculated gamble. Alright, and that's it. That's the end of spring. First season done. Again, just a little bit of extra money. That's just so I could get to a thousand gold. Because if I want to purchase an animal, I can. I'm pretty sure that's enough for a cow. Oh, just short, but I'll figure it out. All right, well, that will do it for uh, now. Keeping these VODs to like just seven days at a time. So that's one season covered. Um, yeah, hopefully you found this of use or at least you were chilling watching one or the other. Thanks for sticking around to the end if you're watching this later on YouTube. Uh, if this was useful, let me know. And I'll be sure to do more of them. But, you know, this is something that I'll do whenever I feel like it. Uh, if you do want to support any of the content here, by the way, the easiest way to do so is do things like click the like button, subscribe, or watch me play other things by clicking one of those videos that pop up at the end. Any of that stuff helps out a lot. So, yeah, thanks to those that do that. Appreciate it a lot. But, uh, do more of this soon. <laughs>